number of friends has played mid Matilda. Mid Matilda, that's right. Two, Either way, this is a very Fanatic powerful in uh, invade trio. Dude, that's a triple flex. You, you, good luck, right? Good luck where that's going. That's a triple flex. I don't know where it's going. Uh, I mean, at this point, you know what? Just lock in the Moskov. Don't even kid yourself, right? You're going to have a lot of fun with the... I'm oh, sorry, they already have the hand. Yeah, they are. Right. Moscow can still go into the hands of Fnatic Onyx. That's yeah. how crazy this is. That's probably going to happen. They're confirming at least one ban from Omega. It'd be funny if they went mage on mage for gold here. That would be the, the ultimate test, right? All right, there's Khalid. The, uh, Khalid. Okay. So the Valentina's still at large. Khalid. I still okay. don't know how to do that. Khalid. That's not a bad win rate, 50%, given how often Khalid. he was uh, picked up. And how often it kind of just fell through. Right, yeah. yeah. Not bad. All right, look at it's that. It's still pretty effective, especially if you get that flicker in. A lot of uh, creative Sonics. There's a ban. Of their signs, and there's the Moscow. See, confirmed. Fnatic Onyx forcing Omega to ban it out. What is this? Uh, happy Teacher's Day. Oh, is that happy. Teacher's Day? Is that, did I read that right? Happy teacher's is it day. Teacher's Day right now? It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday, that confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a the jawhead. Because, yeah, Omega doesn't have any val uh, valid roamers just yet. Yeah. I wouldn't roam Khalid. I mean, some teams have tried it. Some teams have tried to do roam Khalid. They found out the hard way. They learned. That it is squishy AF. They didn't win, they learned. <laughs> yep. I, I learned. They learned a Never lot. Never again. The so there's the Lunox. All right. Hit Roban as well. You know what? Why so not? Confirmed. Keller doesn't have a uh, uh, gold laner just yet. There's a the Tigreal ban. Brusco does amazing things with that. So could Chaknu. Mm -hmm. What does Chaknu pick? Ah, uh, you want to put it past him to be to Beatrix here, right? For Kelra uh, at this point, he could. if not carry, he could. I think Beatrix is more likely, especially with the amount of squishy targets. Yeah, and you do you go well against the Harith. Like you can yeah. survive the laning phase. You can win it too. So if that's the case, maybe you want to throw out. Uh, a Grok to try to catch him, maybe. Arlot is still in play here. I, I don't know how well, how I don't think Chaknu plays a lot of Arlot. But that's Cho, uh, I guess. I'm This I like. Still a possible XP, right? Yeah, but looking at it, now it's more of a Chaknu pick. You want to give Ryota the Khalid and then keep Chaknu on the Cho. So now uh, we're expecting the Beatrix. And uh, carry. Uh, sure. I mean, they're hovering it right now. Natan is still there. We still don't know who's going mid. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's so, it's so or hard. Or XP actually. or jungle. Uh, it's a wide open. It's these last two picks are wide open, by the way. All right, there's a Jushin again, back to back. Hey, no, no, and no, Bruno. Bruno of all the picks, not the least. Expected pick I would have. Bruno Matilda is almost as broken as Bruno Rafaela. And we've seen that, by the way, right? That's disgusting. We've seen that. This is going fast. All right. Make it spicy. Make There's it spicy. A it's a Val. All right. Oh, no, it's a oh, Vex. Vex. They sound alike, don't they? Yeah, no, but Vex at this point is younger. She has a younger voice. Because of what happened to the Necro Keep. Okay. I like it. Uh, to be fair, very rarely do we see a free Valentina. And then an Edith on the other side that you don't get the Valentina. Mm. It's like an afterthought at that point, right? So, mm. yeah, Vexana becoming the the key here for Omega. Borna also Let's used the Vexana. Uh, Vexana is in, uh, at this point, I think Omega's top six or top seven heroes pick. Yes. All season long. So they needed that level of CC that you don't get from the Valentina. They actually overloaded in CC in this one. Uh, I love it. Even the, even the Fracture has crowd control. So let's go. Possibly the last game. Throw it over to Naisu and Ingan. Give us the action in this game. And we will find out if this is going to be the last game or not. Welcome and if this is going to be the game and that gets the history made here for Fnatic Arc Philippines undefeated if they win this one throughout the entire regular season. And now can Smart Omega bring it to a game three and be one step closer to being that team that gives that first loss to FNOP. Well, right now, looking at the lineups here, Ingon, how are we feeling about both the teams, what they brought to the table for game two? I, I do agree that uh, with the panel that Omega has overloaded with crowd control. It might be a good, uh, it might be a good position for 
they might be in a good position rather to you know create a lot of initiations, be aggressive, and at the same time have outplays for the potential setups. Especially if ever Brusco decides to play this Matilda aggressively. Yeah. So we can see, but again, the story remains super friends still with the Zushin. Here comes Chaknu with the Kali. They're going to use it as a roam, so he has to walk away, though he uses the flicker to evade a potential death. Yeah, and you see what they did there, too, because I know the panel was wondering about it, and like, it is, you know, the, the fact that Chaknu's on the Khalid, he's doing a roam Khalid, and then it was Ryota on this Cho pick. I'm wondering how this all plays out. Look at the rotations happening here, though. Okay, King Gold goes in with Spear of Alpha. It's not going to connect, but here comes Brusco with the Sacred Circle. Oh, oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness. Despite the Guiding Wind, this is what we were saying. Even if uh, Brusco has the Guiding Wind to save members of Fnatic oh, Onyx, they can just really go for the chase. And Ryota, in that palo. case, with the Cho from the bottom lane. He came. All the All way, the way. The bottom lane. He took a cross map trip basically and got a double out of it. That that is that is as value as it gets as an XP laner. Th that's worth it. And ten and and some. And, and some. <laughs> well, yeah. okay, so he gets a double, he gets that. They they make a very good play early on. And look at this, look what they're doing with it. Just the aggressive Whoa! version of Ryota bursting down Brusco once again. Chakti goes in. And King Kong has to walk away there. So right now, the concept of Omega is, okay, you have super friends with the of, uh, Lantern Flare. L let's just be mobile enough for a dive center composition that we don't care if we get carried as Kirk here works on Ryota. Here comes super friends, though. And now the first turtle has won. The though. question is, will Fnatic Onik be able to contest? They're going to have to. Oh, Fnatic he's in trouble. Okay, Kirk, Kirk has to flicker out, though. He has no Primal Wrath anymore. Here comes Shaktan once again with the Raging Sandstorm on to super friends. Lantern player is going to pick him up, though. Ryota with a kick. Whoa. He's going to get King Kong, though. King Kong has the Spear of Alpha just to walk away, and now a Circling Eagle just to save him. And again, Omega flawlessly executing that to perfection will get the first turtle. All right, Smart Omega. They're coming out swinging early on. And even with the lineup they brought to the table, the little switcheroo they had, and now look how decisive they're playing this. This is exactly what they need against a team like Fnatic on Philippines, and so far, so good. For the Brung guy here, now sitting on three kills, a good lead, almost a thousand gold, and looking at the items, you know, and how they're going about this too. You know, you just got that Fury Hammer here for Andoru. That's enough of that extra punch, that extra penetration that comes through to burst down these members of uh, of Fnop, especially when Ryota kicks with the way of the dragon, and that's what we saw happen already. So this time too, they focus here on the top. Here comes a fracture from the raging sandstorm flicker combination from Chaknu, oh, but Kilo manages to escape that and punishes Chaknu. Yeah, that was a kill Fnatic Onik was looking for, and the best part was Kelra didn't die. He was saved. Was saved, had the purify, good usage there also from Bruce going to help him out and overall just great response to what they knew was happening. And that's the thing, you know, it's if if Khalid is on the roam. You're gonna see that sandstorm coming, right? Like you know, it's gonna, it, it's gonna be the initiator there, and that's why it's also maybe this is a good switch up of having Ryota in the hands of the Cho because it does add an extra dynamic to this and how they initiate even here. Chak New, uh oh, Chak New has to walk away here. Spear of Alpha plus the Curse Blast combination, and after all of that, uh, Jushin Super Prince will get that. Now Dory has to walk away. Because of the threat of the Lantern Flare once again. Now Fnatic Onyx slowly but surely finding ways to even out the economy for 100 gold lead left for Omega. Yeah, and part of this is also, you know, the fact that Keller was playing a Bruno, one of the gold laners you don't see too often. Only certain teams, only certain players uh, will bring him to the table. And the thing is, we all know that Bruno is still probably one of the better gold laners that you can bring in to just kind of siege on these turrets, yeah. build up, and then later on you're kind of surprised by just his, you know, damage just with his own basic attack even. The fight for the turtle though, gonna oh, break out. There's a tornado coming in from Chak, now as Ryota goes in with the kick once again Whoop. onto King Kong, surrounded wow. by five oh members of the Barangay. Kirk is the next target, he has the primal rep, but will fall down eventually to Chak, now. As Adoryu gets the second turtle, and all the while, Kelra, as you mentioned, just being self-sufficient, working on the top lane, See, trades for that instead. That turret's already gone, taken out, tier one, top side by Kelra. So they'll go ahead and adjust from there, a little switcheroo. You still have Ryota playing very aggressively, and they know the lead that they have right now. They can continue to try to punish Fnatic Onik, but here's the response. Okay. 
Omega has to walk away here because members of Fnatic Onyx are here. King Kong might be able to get his purple buff, but Adoryu goes in with a retribution as well. Ryota, on the other hand, Kellera will fall down. Ryota gets in with a kick onto King Kong, Whoa. but King Kong answers right back with a shutdown of his own. Double kill coming in from Adoryu. Chakla with a raging sandstorm onto the back line as Kurt has a primal wrath, though. Super Friends working on Joe and Uk here. And that's going to be a two for a two trade. And I'm not sure who got the orange buff, but the important thing is they were able to bring down King Kong. Just that, I mean. And Doro looking for and looking for a little bit more. They have to pop the beacon. Super Friends, okay, he's gonna be fine. We'll get back, but you can see how strong this lineup is for Smart Omega when they have this kind of lead. Like they were deep into the jungle of Fnatic Army Philippines, and at least for Epnop, they were able to find something in that conversion, right? But you're seeing how much struggle it is when they have to expend so much in these team fights to actually withstand it and then maybe get a kill or two. That's also a Malefic Roar being picked up here after that Hunter Strike locked in now for Andoru. So he's in a position to actually just even burst people down even further. And so I'm really curious what other completed build will come through from King Kong eventually on the off. Whoa. Look at this. As I was just saying, Super Fritz is gone. Okay. That's that Malefic Roar. And that's a Super Fritz, one of the best players with the best KDAs all throughout the season. All of a sudden got bursted down by Andoru with a fracture here. As Chakna not even bothered, even if he goes in too deep with the Khaled as Joe Merck's on the top lane turret. And just like that, they're going to take a turret. It might even take an uncontested turtle. Still got to push down there. You see Kirk gets the signal to go ahead and push it in. Not sure if he's going to get the whole thing because Chakna is going to join this fight. But that is going to be a, the third turtle going to the hands of Smart Omega. Three for three in that department, building the lead that they have as well. And Kirk will get forced off that tier two turn in the bottom side. They might still chase him, it looks like. That's the plan here from Smart Omega. Okay, they're gonna go right after Kirk. Kirk though, does he have his flicker? He does have his Ooh, flicker, but Primal Wrath, but here oh, comes man. four members. I think he's not gonna expand guiding it anymore. Wind. Here comes the Guiding Wind plus flicker combination. Oh. What a save from Brusco. <laughs> Just wow, that was five. Uh, at least four members of the Barangay chasing after you. You did expand the flicker and the Primal Wrath, but the best part was, you're still alive. That's Kirk. That's. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what you. That's what you hope for, especially when you have Matilda on your team. It's good that he was able to buy enough time to get out of there too. So ultimately, though, that's just. The, it's it's a step number one for Fnatic on the Philippines right now because they are getting further and further behind. And right now, Smart Omega just has total control of this. And as we get to that first Lord, even. It, it might be too difficult for, for f not to actually contest the first Lord. Yeah. They still need a lot of time to build up here. Because even looking at Kelro, right, he's only got Berserker's Fury. He's got a Haas Claw, still working on his next item. Probably an endless battle for the third item there. But even so, like, he actually has to be, even if Kelro has the damage yeah. covered, the problem is getting just bursted down. I mean, you are a Bruno. You've got to purify and... You know, you can rely a little bit on Brusco too, but you gotta also just rely on the peeling capabilities of Ooh, the team. Look at Ryota right on target, Ooh, and this time it's gonna be King Kong once King again. Kong As uh, Fnatic Onyx tries to answer right back, though, Keller's gonna get the pick up onto Chaknu. That's gonna be a one for one trade, but the problem is. As the Lord spawns in 17 seconds, the man down is King Kong. He, they might Boy, still be King able Kong. to contest, though. But again, the problem remains. I do agree. Even if the items are there for Fnatic Onyx eventually, yeah. Ryota's targeting is always precise. It's always on to King Kong. And looking at the KD of King Kong, one for three. That's so rare to see for a dominant jungler like King Kong. Oh, they're actually going to show up here for the fight. They are. Okay. Adore you as Omega tries to burst down the Lord here. And it, they're going to secure it safely, but now Fnatic Onyx wants to go for a trade onto Jome. They oh. might be able to do it though as Kelra brings him down, but in exchange for his own life, as Omega tries to answer right back, they're going to get two. Ooh. And the next target is someone there, and it's going to be Kirk as King Kong joins in the middle. Super Fritz chasing right after Ryota. Ryota might be able to escape, but Chakno as well chasing right after them. It's going to be a two on three, and that trade will be in favor of Omega. Smart Omega getting the Lord, getting some kills. Fnatic Onyx made the play. Like, they wanted to go with the risk. They tried to make it happen. King Kong was a little bit too late to join the fight. And so, ultimately, they did still get something out of it. But as we look at the instant replay, Brontos by Infinix here, this is, you know, the, the forced fight that they wanted. They do get Jome, but then they get collapsed on. And with this, it's a great Spear of Alpha. He's going to find three. Yeah. But just not enough damage to follow up through that. And even for King Kong himself, he's not built to where he needs to be on this Alpha. 
So really, FNOP, the way they look at the if, the, if you're thinking on how can they turn this around, how can they get this game back in their favor against a 3.3, you know, 3.5K gold lead for Smart Omega right now, it's really just buying that time. You need the time. I would say a good three to four minutes, maybe three to five minutes to build up to where they need to be, but also positioning yeah. is so crucial with just how much can be thrown at them. I'm talking about Chaknu just going in with the Sandstorm, Ryota kicking left and right. Even Eternal Guard is enough to kind of just cause enough chaos. So they're going to clear this Lord. We'll see if they force a Ooh, fight. They okay. do. Speaking of forcing a fight, Ryota goes Love in. Ryota. As Brusco casts the Circling Eagle. Here comes the Raging Sasso plus the kick coming in from Ryota. A lot of members Chaknu. from Fnatic Onik are low right now, but Chaknu has to walk away as they try to burst down the Lord. They will successfully save their inhibitor turret. But again, if uh, Fnatic Onik continues to avoid potential death despite the aggression of Ryota and Shaknu, they can turn things around because, again, uh, they have the Matilda that can be used aggressively and defensively. And if Kirk right now has his flicker ready, if he managed to catch someone with the Earth Shatter flicker combination yeah. and just activate the Kelra's Bruno, uh, they could easily turn things, turn, turn things around. Again, the lead is not that much. 3.2k for, uh, for Omega. Oh, they got to be careful here. They had a, they already had a good defense, but look at this play. Ryota and Dordo, they're going to get spotted out. Okay, here comes the Fracture and Circling Eagle coming from Brusco. They're going to use it defensively, though. As Nori pops his Retribution, Ryota will get stopped there with the Earth Shatter coming in from Kirk. So right now, King Kong, King Kong tries to go for his orange Whoa. buff. Want to go get a kill onto Andoryu, but Andoryu manages to escape. We've seen a lot of clashes, but still no bodies are falling down. You can see what's happening here, Egon. Like, Fnatic Onik was down quite a bit earlier on. They had a great successful defense in the base against that first Lord push. It was amazing that no one went down even in that fight. Oh, they might get cut off again. Okay, Chakni goes in with Desert Tornado. Joma as well. Has to cast Zaman Force yet, but here comes Ryota. Gonna catch someone there. He wants oh, to go Kelra for someone, but Adoryu has to back away there. There comes the Cursed Blast. And the immortality of Chakni will be popped. Eventually, he's gonna fall down in the hands of Kirk. And now all of a sudden, the Barangay are scattering as Fnatic Onik moves forward. They want to focus on Andoryu. Super Friends coming oh, no. in with the Crimson Beacon plus Lander oh, Flare. God. They want to chase after Andoryu. Bruce Kido, does he have a Circling Eagle to chase after Andoryu? And Fnatic will result instead to getting this Lord. They're going to blitz it. Andoryu, he has no choice. He couldn't even find a, a, a space to move. Just how fast Fnatic Onik rotated after getting the kill. And this oh. is all what I was saying earlier on. Did they had a come. great successful defense. It kept them in the game. No one went down. They bought themselves those three to five minutes I mentioned earlier on. And now look what's happening. It's flipping the game on its head. And the the, uh. the emotes, of course, are going to come out too. Don't forget to grab yours now while you can. But this is a lord for Fnatic Onyx Philippines pushing. It's, you got to be kidding me. Super Friends just got the Ice Queen wand. So now the slow is going to be even more... Of a, of a nuisance for Smart Omega to deal with. We'll see if they can defend. They've had this game in their pockets for the majority of the early to mid. But how do they respond to this? How do they respond to the pressure? Look at Andoru. He is going to get spotted out and forced out. So they've got to deal with the Lord eventually pushing on the bottom side. Yeah, eventually, if they burst down the Lord, save their inhibitor turrets. As soon as another potential Lord clash uh, ensues here, Ryo has to step up again and does what he does, uh, he's been doing a while ago, picking off King Kong with the Way of the Dragon. They can, again, have the lead, but Fnatic Onik slowly bringing down the lead of Omega down to 1.5 gate. They still have the Lord, and now focusing on the mid lane turret. Okay, no, I'm glad no. As the Lord marches up uh, in the bottom lane here, and they're going to get an inhibitor turret down. Fnatic Onik on the verge of actually wow. remaining undefeated the whole season. Imagine oh, if that happens. But will Omega, though, manage to stop the momentum of the Sonics? Man, how? So just like that, Fnatic on the Philippines finds themselves in a position where they're all, they're, they basically have control now. Yeah, the Lord was taken care of. But with everything that Smart Omega did in the beginning, they find themselves at pretty much even ground. That's what yeah. all that has done for this. So the execution factor on the lineup that they brought to the table is really going to have to be on point from Smart Omega as the next Lord is, uh, comes up. And it's still a minute away. So if they can get a pickoff, yeah. great. But the problem with that is who is going to be that pickoff person? It's It's got to be Ryota. Like, he's going to be the guy to get that kickoff. 
Because I wouldn't want to see Chaknu initially initiate that because, again, the Raging Sandstorm is really great, especially from off angles. Yeah. So you're almost like, all right, Ryota, you might have to be the one to do this. But it, because of that shift in momentum and the plays that just happened, Fnatic Onik is the ones that most likely will go for a pickoff and put pressure on Smart Omega. Speaking of putting pressure, they're trying to get the purple buff away from Andor. You hear as Jom pops his arm in force, plus the Purify. Here comes Kirk yeah. entering the frame in the middle. Jom all of a sudden will fall down. Keller will bur burst down Shakno as well. And now the Omega Barangay has to walk away, but Superfriend says no. Picks up someone with the Lantern Flare. All of a sudden, it's just Andoryu and the Ook here left. They're, they might be actually able to end this. They have minions. Oh, no. Ook here, Andoryu defending for their life. They want to end the streak, but Fnatic Onik will shut down someone. King Kong will fall pin? down as well. That's a four minutes. on two. They still have a wave pushing on top. I'm not sure if they still want to go for it mid as well to focus down the mid lane of the base. Okay, Kelra. Gonna work on the mid lane turret. Five seconds before Job spawn. Superfence enters in with a Crimson Peak and Kirk working on the minions. And Dory tries to go in with a fracture. He's gonna bring down they Kirk. Bought though. Enough time. Okay, they bought enough time. Here comes Job with his Almond Force. Might be able to bring down someone. Here comes Jack, though, in with a Raging Sandstorm. Even with a Purify. Gonna bring down someone. And it's Brusco and Kelra left. Oh, oh, still going. Oh, Desert Star Tornado. Here comes. The, here comes the attack coming in from Ryota. Omega. Ryota goes in for the back line with the wave of the dragon. Kelra though being chased Kelra. by his former partner, Chakno. <laughs> Job goes in, it's gonna be a two on one. Ryota with a Jit Kondu. He's gonna be able to stun Ooh. out Kelra and Job delivering the final blow. Oh man, what a play coming out and Kelra almost succeeding there. Did as much as he could, but what happened? Smart Omega brings yeah, the favor back for them and they'll get the Lord off of it. What an amazing defense. And just synergy with playing with who was left to defend for the base there. And so with that, they get themselves the Lord and they could go ahead and regroup and push in. It was Andoryu and Ukir defense. I mean, how many highlight defenses have you seen from Barangay? Even during week number one, who could forget Chak Nuhailos diverting the attention of the Lord and the minions? Enough time bought for them to have a uh, comeback. And now with Ukir and Andoria's defense, they can actually the pull up a comeback us. against Fnatic, oh the gosh. undefeated Kings, as the Lord marches in the top lane and Inhibitor will fall down. Five members of Fnatic though are alive, so they're gonna be able to burst down the Lord. Okay, we gotta catch wow. our breath for a second here, but Smart Omega might have another plan. They might still continue the assault on the base here. They're gonna have to clear things through. Couple more clears for FNOP. Should be able to make it and keep the base, base turrets up. So ultimately, you've got FNOP with two base turrets. Smart Omega only has the one. And so they set things up. Where did they go? Kelrup? Oh. I don't know. This might be part of the plan here. Trying to make something happen. This is so risky. Is this a bait though? Woo! Super Prince Crimson wow, Beacon, but a whole Omega squad goes in right after Kirk as well. His Primal Wrath is there. The first man down is no one yet because Immortality over Ryota Ryo will be popped. Oh, no, but no, all no. of a sudden, Fnatic oh. Onik sending Omega back home. They still have five Omega scattering for their lives. Fnatic wants to go for a pickoff. No casualties. But the plan of the Barangay has been foiled by the Sonics. Smart Omega's like, FNOP, if you want to make the history, you want that streak to continue, you're going to have to work for it. Remember, just minutes ago, they saw the glimpse of it as they were focusing on the base. They ran out of minions, and then this has resulted in now reaching the 20-minute mark. They're so close to the next objective here, less than a minute away as both teams get re-situated. We're gonna start seeing more of the items being juggled around too, the Winter Crowns, the Immortalities, the Wind of Natures even. And so for that, you're seeing how important the positioning is for both teams. For FNOP, they can play around Brusco. They've got the Guiding Wind to help them out. Circling Eagle, they've got the Purifies, the multiple Purifies that have played a part of this. And even for Omega, you still have to wait for these Flickers to be available because those are crucial parts to either disengaging or re-engaging in these fights, which will all be up by the time this Lord gets ready to go. They'll stall it out a little bit, they'll put some pressure, but this is also where some of those off angles that we talked about earlier on could be utilized here. So for both teams, Lord now evolved. 
This is a crucial one. If FNOP's able to cap this out and get it, that might be the game at winning, the streak continuing lord for this one. It's the Barangay Timers though. We're past the 18 minute mark and we can clearly see Omega in the driver's seat with a 5k gold lead. As Endoryu works on the bottom lane trying to create the push there and make Fnatic Onek react. As Jome tries to start the Lord, Super Friends zoning out the members of Omega. Both of these teams can contest for the Lord. Both of these teams can get the Lord. Here we go. Half health. Might go through another reset. They still have to manage the waves as well. Super Prince, half health, already taking a lot of damage here. If not, will try to get control of the space. They got to keep an eye on Kelra too. Okay, the good thing for Fnatic Onyx is that their inhibitor turret down bottom hasn't been crushed yet, and Riot has good position here. Setting his eyes on either King Kong or Kelra, but will be spotted out Endoryu. by Kirk. Just look at Endoryu. He's taking a trip around town. Okay, coming from the back line. This is where you keep things on uh, oh, your head on a swivel, as I like to oh. say. The Ch patience is there. The Chak Nu presses Winter Crowd. Uh, Fnatic oh. Oni goes in with the Circling Eagle. Ryota, though. Kelly Landon flares Andoru. there from Super Friends. He saw me spot him out. So they can still play around this. And he's going to go the long way back to this. As Fnop starts to slow it up once again. Chak Nu waiting on the whims. Joan there, too. They're gonna go for it. Look where and look oh. where Andoru is. Oh, they wanna they, they might want to go for Chaknu here as Andoru in the brush here so gets spotted out by Brusco. As well as Super Friends. Okay. 20,000 HP for this Lord. They might go to a retro battle for this one. Oh oh, they're gonna have, have a slot reset as Chaknu goes Good. in with a quick sand guard. Just to try and regen his HP. Okay, Fnatic Onik might actually burst down the Lord. Yeah, no. Ryota flickers in, but gets caught up by Kirk. Here comes the Circling Eagle. The first man down is Ryota in hands of Kelra, but Andoryu gets the Lord. Now Fnatic Onik wants to go for the kills, wants to go for the clash. Joan will fall down. Shaknu working on the base defense. The Lord has punned up top, but Super Friends and the rest of Fnatic Onik just working on the minion waves, working on the Lord. Will Omega be able to defend this? Andoru, he's gonna try to cut things off too. They sent Kirk back to clear that wave up top. King Kong working on the Lord here. That might have been enough, even with two down from Smart Omega and a fourth of the health left on the crystal here. They're gonna do their best to keep it up. Oh. Also gotta manage these waves coming through, but it's four members oh, no. facing off against Smart Omega here. The three of them, Jome and Ryota still 10, 15 seconds away, Andoru. Oh, oh, Super Friends manages to evade the, the fracture coming in from Andoru with the Crimson Peak, and now the chase is on, Super Friends. After Andoru, he's gonna left, leave him behind as Kelra has minions in the middle lane. King Kong in with Spiro, but oh, no, they have the minions. Shaq Nu with the last effort to defend. Two members of Omega are now here. They wanna go for the minions, wanna go for the kill. King Kong is gonna fall down. Super Friends over the lantern flare onto Ryota. He's gonna bring him out there, but he's not gonna be able to burst him down. Andoru and Joe on for the chase. They wanna go right after Kelra, though. Here comes the fracture. Plus the Zaman Force. Super Friends just zoning out Chakno. Chakno has to use out the flicker. It's just like that. It's just, like, it just like that. They're still going. They're still going. They have minions, but Omega will clearly be able to clear it out. Ryota goes in with a Jinko. Gets a kick on to Kellera. Kellera manages to stay alive. Four on four. Ukir 35 seconds. King Kong 32. 25, we're approaching the 25 minute mark. What's happening to this game? Jack New does it again. He actually was able to go ahead, King Sandguard up in there, keep things together by enough time. I know we switched items out too, and even Kelra did, but man, it might, you might say, whoa, this looks messy. No, this is all calculated and top tier micro within these team fights. It's amazing. The question is, is this Omega Timers? or Onyx time, because Fnatic holds an 82% win rate in games that go past the Omega timers, while Omega has a 63% win rate. You know, at this point, statistics don't matter. It's all about momentum, it's all about skills, it's all about who has the advantage coming into a potential last clash. And again, you find this here <laughs> at a similar situation we were just at. We're 30 seconds away from this Lord. And every single uh, team fight that is built up to this has been basically top Longest tier between team. these two teams. <sighs> it's a push and pull between both of them. They expend the resources, whether those are flickers, the purifies, the ultimates, the positioning. Again, a lot of those team fights, when you just watch Kelra, keep your eye on Kelra, and there's a reason why a lot of people point out Kelra 
throughout the world because of his micro ability and reliance on the team here. Smart Omega doing the same thing with their lineup. You know, it's just a little bit different because Jome's job here on this Harris sometimes is just to drop down that Zaman Forth, Zaman Forest, and hopefully get the damage off. But here we go. They're going to initiate. Here, here comes the uh, pokes from Fnatic with Certain Eagle forcing out the Zaman Forest of Jome. This is uh, the potential fifth lord for both of these teams as Fnatic on it, continuing to work for it. Andor, you're trying to <laughs> play here. Gets caught up by Brusco and Kelra again. The chase is yeah, on, but that. manages to escape, though. Will Fnatic Onik burst down the Lord since they know Andoru is down bottom? Or will Omega be able to set up a play? Andoru still down there on the bottom side. They have plenty of time to think about this, but FNOP, are they going to force something? They do go and use that circling yield time and time again, put pressure. Andoru wants to push that bottom, and they know. Look how fast oh. they're going to travel with Kelra. Now down to the bottom side, he's really relying on Brusco here. They know they went down. And Smart Omega is going to go in. Okay, Ryota goes in with a flicker, but get caught up once again by Kirk. Will they be able to burst him down, though? Crimson Mika going to Superman. Shaq, though, with the Raging Sandstorm onto the back line. Here comes the Curse Blast, though. All of a sudden, the Immortality of Super Friends will be popped. Ryota goes in after Super Friends. As Ryota's Immortality will be popped. Keller, on the other hand, though, being able to free hit. Here comes the Winter Crown. Will they be able to take him down, though? But Joan takes down King Kong first. Kelro's still up. Omega, five members are up here against three of the Fnatic Onyx. It's Chaknu. Look at Endoryu. Is he going to chase right after Brusco? Brusco oh, goes he's going to bring him with Kelro. him. He's going to try and burst down Omega, though. Here comes Chaknu once again with the Raging Sandstorm. Kelro's Immortality will be popped. He's gone. But Joan goes in for the kill. Kelra, Super Friends. King Kong is gone. Omega they did standing it. strong. They have the minions. And we will go to a game three. And the Barangay cheers with us in the MPL arena, because man, what a defense, what a game. You wouldn't have it any other way.